Hi, I'm Elisa Paselli, and welcome to Episode 8 of Learn My Mac. Today, we are going to be talking about the genius section of iTunes that I feel is pretty underutilized by most people. It's separated into the genius playlist and the genius mixes. And first, we'll talk about the genius playlist. The way that would work is you would choose a song in your library. In this case, we have A Woman in Love by Tom Petty. You start to play it, and for now I'm going to turn it off. And you'll notice that there is an icon right over here or down at the bottom of the window that you click on. And once you click it, iTunes creates a playlist, in this case based on 25 songs, of songs that are in my library that iTunes feels would be compatible and similar in nature to Woman in Love that I could just listen to as a playlist. I can choose to change it to 50, 75, or 100 songs if 25 I feel is not enough. So as you can see, it added all these songs. But I'm going to go back to 25. I can refresh the list so some of the songs will stay the same and some will change. If I decide this playlist is something that I really like, I can save it as a playlist right there. And as you can see right under here under the genius, there is my Woman in Love playlist. At any time, if I decide I don't want that playlist any longer, I can just click on it and click delete. And it will ask me if I want to delete it, which I do, and it's gone. Which now brings us to the Genius Mixes. Uh, Genius Mix are songs that are in my iTunes library that iTunes feels goes together. For example, these are classic rock songs, new wave songs, soft rock songs, etc. Uh, the length is different for each one. Also, a lot depends on how many songs I have in my library of that particular genre. Uh, the one negative about this is that I cannot pick and choose which songs I want in this in this mix. So if I click on it, you can hear it starting with Tom Petty into Dire Straits, into Super Tramp, into Traveling Wilburys, etc. So I'm not going to know what I'm listening to until I listen to it. Now, if for some reason I decide I don't want this mix anymore, I can click on it and remove it. If something happens where I decide I want it back again, if I click over here on the Genius Mixes, Restore All Mixes, and you can see down here it's back. I can also rearrange these for, if I want to for some reason, just like this. So it's a nice little feature to have. To be honest, I really haven't used it a lot, um, but I think, I think I might start using it. I think it's kind of interesting. The last thing that I wanted to show, I go back up here to my music. If you look down here in the lower right corner, this is the iTunes sidebar. If I click that, and I scroll down a little bit, you'll see Genius Recommendations. Now once again, these are songs that iTunes is suggesting based on the songs that are in, currently in my library. So it knows that I have some Cars music, I have Eagles music, and it's suggesting this song as something I might want to buy. I can play it right within the window, listen to the sample, and if I choose to buy it, I can buy it right here. So that's a, a brief introduction to iTunes Genius Mixes and the Genius tab itself. So I hope you found that useful. And if you have any thoughts about that, please let me know. I'm Elisa Paselli, and I'll speak to you next time.